our nation chose not to break a glass ceiling, but instead to fortify it. Instead of acknowledging environmental crisis, our collective chose a candidate who ignores it. Instead of protecting human dignity, our political process inspired fear in those who were most marginalized. However, we gather here today because we believe in a different America. Hi everyone, my name is Sanjita Ahmed and I'm a sophomore here at Duke. Thanks for letting me speak to you all. When I heard the outcome of the election, I resigned myself to my new fate. I told my parents that I'd most, stop, most likely stop wearing the hijab. I told my 13-year-old sister to stop wearing it. I texted one of my friends asking her if she was going to stop. She said at first that she would, but then she decided that she couldn't let Trump take that, way, take that away from her too. So this event is Duke students um, sort of coming together and trying to process uh, the result of the election and thinking about what are our next steps and how we can move forward um, under the Trump administration. Being here at Duke, I realized that I am in a liberal bubble. And this was one of the biggest wake up calls that I had. I didn't live in the America that I thought I did, lived in. Um, one of the goals of this rally is to come together in solidarity because this election means so many things to many different people. But the other part of it is coming together to move forward. The event here is sort of bringing together people um, to work on like different issues from like women's issues um, to climate change, um, to racism, uh, to immigrant rights, and finding students who are working um, in policy and have already been involved in activism at Duke and co coordinating with all these students to like figure out action plans um, on how we can move forward on these different issues. Facing up to Trump doesn't mean just dealing with neo-Nazis, the KKK, and the most extreme forms of white supremacy. Facing up to Trump means finally facing up to the fact that Muslims and people of color and those of us at the margins have never been represented by our government. We are not, nor have we ever been, truly safe citizens of this country. If we want to not only survive Trump, but also to progress beyond him, we have to confront this reality and move towards building an America that includes all of us, represents all of us, and protects all of us. Thank you.